Pete Yacobelli, Associated Press. Um, for both Aaliyah and Zaya, your bench this year, when they get in there, they're able to make things happen. How good is that overall towards your success and for you guys to get a little rest and be fresher at the end when you need it? Oh, I think it just uh, just shows to show how good of a team we are. Um, it's not just a starting fire that can make things happen. Um, our bench comes in and do their job as well. Um, so it's definitely helpful um, for them to get out there and do their job and, and, and help towards our wins. I agree. I say this all the time that, you know, there's never a drop off when anyone gets subbed in the game because everybody knows what they're doing. Everybody knows um, what to do. And so they come in and they dominate, which is really good. So go with Dick Cox and then we'll go to the back after him. This is for both. At this stage of the season, do you feel like it's an advantage or disadvantage to have to play somebody again rather than playing somebody new? Um, I mean, I just think, um, I think it's, I don't think it's either, honestly. I mean, it's good that we've gotten to get a feel of their basketball, but at the same time, we played each other very early on in the season where we're both probably figuring out what we're good at, what we're not so good at, how we want to play them. And so, I mean, you get a good feel, but it's still probably going to feel a lot different than when we stepped on the court the first time. I agree. Pink Hawaiian shirt, then Pete Yannity. Yeah, Dan Fanning, News Through Sports in Charleston. Uh, for both of you, after the USF win, Coach Staley mentioned y'all's want to win. Just wondering, where does that drive and that want to win come from? Um, I just think it comes in, comes from within. Um, I think heart is something that you can't teach. Um, and I think that's another reason why we're so successful, um, just because we want to win. And that's the only thing that we want to do, um, especially this year. I think everyone's dialed in, and, and we know what the mission is and what we need to accomplish. I definitely agree with that. I think we're just, it's just that competitive nature that's inside of all, all of us. And you know, the coaches do a great job of just continuing to push us because they want to see us be successful as well. Pete Yannick? First for Zaya, then for Aaliyah. Zaya, your growth this year, and maybe it began last year, but in terms of becoming the leading scorer, the go to scorer, can you point to something specific done in the off season or maybe a level of confidence this year that may be different from previous seasons? Um, I think it's a, a, mixture, a mixture a mixture, of all of that. Um, when I go out on the floor, I just try to keep my mind as clear as possible. Um, and, and, and I just put the work in. Um, I, I always say that I think mentally I'm in the best space uh, possible. Um, I believe in myself. My teammates believe in me. Um, and, and every game, I just, I just want to go out there and win. I don't really think about scoring. I think freshman year or sophomore year, that was probably on my mind a lot. But uh, when I became a junior and a senior, um, I think I've matured in a lot of different ways. Um, and I just realized what I need to do. So I let the game come to me. And, and sometimes it's where I'm scoring a lot of points. It could be defense. Um, just allowing myself to do whatever is needed at that time. And Aaliyah, the growth you've seen in your teammate, can you speak to that, please? Yeah, um, it's just been really, really amazing to see the growth of Zaya. Um, I think she is just a great leader, first and foremost, um, for everybody on the court. But her scoring, her defense, honestly, it's just amazing. Just like she said, I think her mental spot is really good. But also, we believe in Zaya. We know that she can shoot the ball. We know that she can guard anybody that coach puts her on. And she just continues to hype us up, continue to talk to us. Um, and it's just great to see her shine. All right, we got a question from Zoom. Doug, go ahead. Hey, guys. Uh, Doug Greenberg, front office sports. Um, Aaliyah, last year after the national championship, and Zaya, you can add to this uh, if you want, but after the national championship last year, um, you started talking about South Carolina as a dynasty. Um, how do you like to address the South Carolina dynasty talk now? Um, I mean, I'll really just continue to leave that up to everyone else, but I just think that this program is just continuing to grow. I think um, Coach Staley and the entire coaching staff has just done a great job with the South Carolina program as a whole, um, but it's just continuing to grow, and I'm excited to see the future of it. Far right. Hi, Natalie out of ABC News 4 out of Charleston. Could you both just speak on the venue? You were just here a few weeks ago. It's less than two hours from Columbia. What do you think this place is going to look like tomorrow in terms of support for you two? Oh, I think it's going to be a lot of fans in the building. Um, I think they're going to be cheering us on, bringing that energy for us. Um, and it's definitely something that we're going to need uh, for this next stretch. I second that. <laughs> right there in the middle, right beside her. Cassandra Negley with Yahoo Sports. There's a lot going on this time of year. You have these key games, you have classes, potentially the draft, potentially staying. What is key for you each keeping all of that in mind, but 
making those decisions all at the same time? Um, the main thing is just compartmentalizing. Mm -hmm. I had to slow down a second, but just making sure that when we're on the court, we're focusing on what needs to be done, the task at hand. So right now, you know, that's UCLA. And then when we get off the court, you know, if you have study hall, making sure that you prioritize getting your homework done in that section. And then anything else, I mean, you just take the time that you need, but when it's time to focus on one specific thing, you have to give it your all. Um, I agree. Um, I definitely think right now the main focus is UCLA and um, this tournament. Uh, anything other than that, well, of course school, but we're, we're basically done with school at this point. But um, I think right now it's just the, t the tournament. That's the most important thing to me, and I, I don't really, I'm not the type of person that can go too far, so I got to focus on what's in front of me. Questions? In the middle right here? Marvin Parker, News 13 Sports, uh, Asheville. So to piggyback on that, um, how do you keep things light? What's on the playlist? Are you looking at movies to, to remind you of something? Or what's, uh, what's the content that keeps you light and happy? Um, for me, it's going to be TikTok first. And mm -hmm. then if anyone has any Netflix shows, please send recommendations. <laughs> um, but honestly, I just, I'm going to be a TikTok. I'm watching New Amsterdam right now. So just hearing, listening to that. So please send recommendations. Not a joke. Uh, for me, um, I'm, I don't really know. I mean, I'm, I'm always on the phone with my parents or my friends because they're so far away from me. So they, they give me a little bit of um, outside time to do stuff like that. Also, I just went and seen Creed. I saw it twice, too. So that movie was great. Um, and I'm, I'm on Netflix right now, too. So I try to get some time in and watch some movies and stuff like that. Pete Yannity? Let's go Aaliyah, then Zaya. Your coach has worn some really creative stuff on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. I've noticed this year, I don't know if she started last year, but uh, do you guys get input at all? Do you, you know, kind of <laughs> have some fun with it, razz her a little bit, that kind of thing? Just kind of give some thoughts on I that. mean, when she walks in the locker room, we're all like, ooh, you're showing out, and we all hype her up, and she'll be like, this is nothing. She like, hates when we do Please that. stop. <laughs> but honestly, coach shows up on the sidelines. She's always looking fly, so... She was fly way before we got here, so let's just get that straight. <laughs> she was fly before we got here, but, uh, yeah, coach is the goat when it comes to putting, putting that mm -hmm, on. Yeah, so <laughs> she, she knows what she's doing. I had you. Any other questions, Netflix recommendations, anything? Please, please. Oh. I already watched it. Ozark. Ozark is so good. You haven't watched that? No. Highly it recommend. It like my type of movie. Highly recommend. Yeah, that was, Sorry. That was good. That was good. We're, we're helping out everybody. Uh, awesome. Thank y'all. Thank, Thank you. you. Ozark is so good.